I'm drunk. But, shit, I ain't getting drunker. That night. Damn, every time with this shit. And nothing even happened. It's all good, baby. I know that wound ain't healed. Truck. You know the drill. What you got? 10-4. We got an SUV in a handicapped spot without a sticker. It's a lucky plucker and little soul. Do you copy? You know I don't copy. I'm an original. <laughs> yeah, we got you. JB still sick. Man, you sure you need me? Because you look like you know what you're doing. One, I can't drive. And two, this ain't no work for ladies. Oh, you really fighting the feminist cause there, ain't you, Tiny? Like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out nonsense. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, that we can't agree on. And I got qualifications, honey. Like hell you do. I got a certificate in cosmology. You never see my nails. <laughs> what, you going into space now? You always did think you were so clever. Remember Davis High? You didn't learn shit at that school. We're on, boo. Let's move it out. 
Who never gave a fuck about you You in the streets Don't keep your ID in your mind I die like six lanes I can't be anybody This ain't a job for making new friends, is it? I thought you been into some repo work. Yeah, that's true. Same shit, but nicer cars. It's an honest dollar, and there ain't many of those around. An honest dollar that I ain't seen yet? Man, JB need to get his head straight. JB's going through a hard time. A hard time sitting on his ass smoking crack? I gotta keep his hours up. Word is they gonna sell the business. A new owner ain't good news for the drivers with no papers. JB sold his social for a piece two years back. I see the problem, but I just don't see that as mine. You too good to cover a brother now? I'm here, ain't I? I've been covering that brother for 20 years.
about time you join the altruist, Nate? When people get as lost and messed up as you, they tend to join cults as quickly as they can. You'd love it! You'd really fit in. And you'll look great in baby blue. Come on, quick! This way! She was screaming no! And he just kept hitting her! It's just over here! We got one! Go, go, get in there! You fucking move and you're dead! Give me the fucking money! Hey, look. Sorry, guys. I got no money on me. Well, in that case, we're gonna have to fucking kill you. You must really hey, like getting fucked up, huh? Hey, I
for you, Lester. I'd offer you something, but you were just leaving. Fucking way. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye.
Michael. I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Another great morning. You love it here. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Ah. Uh... Got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. There it goes. This place is fueled by Java, bro. <laughs> and that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Send me the <laughs> Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye now. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive nude on it. If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing thief. Hold on, I'll buzz you out. Hey, 
Michael. Hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. And what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, uh, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's un... <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Out. No! I'm watching Fame or Shame! Oh, fucking tits! No! Give it up! You guys are going to the final. Mime's on fire. Woo! What a talent! I have never seen someone set fire to their crotch before. Fantastic! The most racist guy in America. You all disgust me! America loves you. You are in the finals. Recorded live. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 20... Four, seven. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home, and at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Security! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! Let's... Whoa! That was heavy. You watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. 
You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Hi there. Sure, you come back. Oh, you don't have to call to tell me that. Not you. The Dieter Sachs store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Oh, now you want it. All right, I'm coming. The one phone call only for real policemen. You worthless turd. trying to do police work here. I told you, she's a biter. He's got okay. my car! Pick me up! Let's go! The cops are still after us! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I'm taking an anti-anxiety. Hello? No seatbelt? They're coming, Michael! I'm on top of it. I'm on top of it. Shit! They're still on us! Chill out. It's under control. There's no point in losing the cops if I'm dead in the back seat. Get us out of here! I'm on top of it. Out. It's 
It's under control. Come on, come on, come on! Relax, I got this. I do not want to go to prison. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Of course they're gone. Who are you talking to? Come on, I'll take you back to the house. Don't say it! What? That I have everything I want, so why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed! Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you! I'm not saying anything! I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail! Can we drive home, please? I mean, who are you to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at, love, love, big love. So this is what it's like to be you. Get rid of the car, Michael. It can't stay in the driveway. Oh, and yeah, thank you. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do is your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work, and I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up.
the hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. No, oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. The jewelers is on Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million... <laughs> ...in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hill. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident. The shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Okay, let's get this done. pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> No, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. 
Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So, you keep up with the old crew? You know, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? I'm on the roof! All right, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. It's like a big box on the roof. No, no, the air conditioning roof unit. I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? Let's hurry this up, Michael. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So 
Hello, what did you see? Nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. But good. The alarm system's linked to the door lock. So we'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Glass in the cabinets was bulletproof, means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then. Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. We might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. Here are the photos. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Uh, well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. Uh, all the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't want to leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, you know, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. Now, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LS. PD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Eddie Cho. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Ah, Norm. Came across as uh, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Let's take a chance on him. That look good to you? Are you sure? Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good, good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you.
What's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going? You gotta love Los Santos, man. It's the home of gangster rap, movies, and Meriwether private security. Now listen, if there's any three things more American than heavily armed rappers, fake happy endings, and outsourced armies, I don't know what they are. Breaking news. Jay Norris has head blown off on TV. The lost running amok in the desert. Meriwether enters the postal service. The stock market destroys some dreams again. Jay Norris, Life Invader CEO and controversial champion of openness and data mining, had his data mined all over the stage when his head was blown off while giving a keynote speech. Hey, Frank, you want to do something? I just, like, spoke to you, homie. Call me back later. Yeah, I should probably handle some other stuff, too. I don't even know why I asked. Hey, Big Daddy's home as if anyone gives a shit. <laughs> 